Hello guys, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody's doing good. So, the art of creating our life, design by design, the art of getting what we want. How do I create? How do I use this manifesting? How do I use this law of attraction? I mean, how do I do it? Is there a structured way to get this thing to work so I could see some results? The answer is yes, yes, yes. I'm going to give you some quick awareness and just to open your mind to show you how you can do this, all right? So, congratulations for being here. Now, excellent. Now, guys, I want to mention one thing. I do get lots of questions, and I definitely want to answer your questions. I got Facebook, I got the, the YouTube channels, the Instagram. So, I get tons of questions, emails. So, I found this platform. It's called Wizio. And uh, uh, they came to me and they said, Hey, Mark, we noticed you get so much questions from your, your subscribers. Use this platform. Test it out. Uh, what it does, it basically funnels everyone, and I can get to answer everyone's question. Not only answer your question, but I get to answer it in a video, so it gets sent to you. And I, and I like that because it streamlines things. So it'll help you guys. So guys, I'll put the link below, and you can go check it out and uh, get on there and questions anything about quantum physics, manifest, and law of attraction, how to change your life. Because I get them all the time. Now I'll be I'll be able to have a streamlined way where everything comes at once, and I can answer them in a good timely manner. So I'm gonna put the link below and you can, guys can uh, check that out. But look, here's a question I wanna ask you. And I want you to think about this when it comes to creating our reality. Are we happy because we get the things we want? Or is it because we're happy that we get the things we want? So one term, one term is, are we already happy and then the things come to us? Or is because we get the things that make us happy? You want the answer? The answer is, it's when you're happy, you get the things you want. Not the other way around. See that? That's a conventional thing that's been put into our reality. It's not true. It's, it's as I said, it's when you're happy, you're going to get what you want. All right. So, how do I do it, Mark? What's the secret? Here's a secret to getting to creating and how you do it. The law of attraction, manifesting, everything. It comes down to this. You have to change your identity, your inner representation of yourself. Your conscious mind cannot solve your emotional problems. Your beliefs, your facts, that what you believe accordingly is a subconscious, it's emotional. Did you know that when something goes to your subconscious mind, it's a fact to your subconscious? And your subconscious mind now will work to change it. I want you to think about that. So it's all about creating a new story or a new identity of yourself. See, what happens, guys, is when we fail to create what we want is because we're stuck with an old identity. So your conscious mind is looking for this new you. But remember, your conscious mind cannot solve your emotional problems. The identity is an emotional problem. It's a subconscious problem. Or issue right so if you want to do that we have to change our inner representation of ourselves because remember this it's the inner representation that's vibrating that inner representation is emotion it's stronger it's, it's not intellect it's an uh, emotion so your subconscious takes information in five ways right remember five ways okay what's the first one it puts images in your mind right images so you can see if what does it communicate with your body through feelings emotions right it's the third way, sound, right? Because sound, taste, and smell. And all these are so real to your subconscious because it's emotional. So it overrides your intellect mind. So you have to create a new story. So what causes us to be stuck in these stories? Memories. See, the memory, memory, memories we have, we attach them with a perception. So the next step is, oh, I have to change my perception. Yes, you have to change your perception. You have to tell yourself a new story and you have to see it in the mind and you have to change the memory. I mean, the past is the past. It already happened. But it's how you view the memory of that past or give it a new perception that will change your inner blueprint, your new identity. So it's all about you got to shift your identity. So the person you want to become, you have to give a perception of that now. You cannot be this person you are, your old identity. So if you think about it, why don't you guys think about it? What are some of your identities you have? Maybe your identity about money, your self-love, yourself, the environment, people, places. See, these are your subconscious holds these. So even though intellectually, 
you're moving towards changing that, it's never going to work. See what I'm saying? Because as I said, your conscious mind can never override an emotional mind. So even though these are stored unconsciously and, and you may not be aware of them because you're so used to them, you're consciously going out making moves to do it, but you always find yourself back to where you're at, self-sabotaging yourself. That's because we have to change the inner blueprint. So some ways to change the inner blueprint are through your affirmations, through your questions. Ask the questions of what you'd like to see, the person you'd like to become. Affirm who you'd like to be, your new story. What else? When those memories come up, give it a new perception. Even though it happened that way, change the perception. The reason why? Because your subconscious is illogical and it's going to believe it. It's that simple. See how it works? So that's the key. So if you want to make all of this work for you, you have to start giving yourself a new identity emotionally through memories, through images, through feelings, through perceptions, over and over again, affirmations, and your subconscious is going to accept it and it's going to change. What, we, what we've been doing is we've been changing our identity with our intellectual mind. It can't work. There's no way you can use... Here's the reason why your intellectual mind can't change your identity. Because your intellectual mind, our conscious mind, didn't create the problem. You have to go to the mind that created the problem. And that's your subconscious. So only in the subconscious, it holds our beliefs and our emotional blueprint and our identity. So in order to change it, you have to go to where the problem was created. That's why your conscious mind can't change it. Because it doesn't have access. Because it didn't create the problem. So that's just some very, very knowing information that you must need you need to know so if you're doing all this stuff and you're seeing all these different uh, techniques and everything so many of them work and they work according to you but in order for anything to work any of these things to work you have to change your emotional blueprint your emotional identity you have to change your story if you're a victim if you feel things that are against you you have to change that. You have to see yourself as this new person. Now remember what I said, subconsciously, not consciously. We are doing this consciously, and that's why we're not seeing the change. Okay? That's it. That's what I want to leave you with today. It's big. That's revolutionary. And it works 100%. The reason it works 100% is because everything that we see, all our actions and our habits are in our identity is in our subconscious and it runs 96% of our life. Our conscious just decodes intellectualized materials and plans. That's it my friends. Your conscious can't do the change. It may make you think you're changing but you'll always come back. So there you have it. Just in insightful things for you to work on and now you know. Change your identity. Emotional. New story. Target subconscious. Rinse and repeat and you will see the results in your life. Thanks.